Hey everyone, so I'm back with another vlog as I explained in my last vlog. Check it out by the way. I have been chosen as one of the designers with my poster to collaborate oh collaborate with uh, Rotterdam host city 2021 Eurovision song contest my poster has been chosen unfortunately I did not vlog on that day it was like, very busy because we had photos and videos and also had like an interview at one point happening all in that day it was very fun and I'm just very thankful to be part of such a cool collaboration that I think a lot of like young artists and designers don't get the chance to have but that's not the main point of this vlog because we are finally starting a new project and it is the alter ego project and the whole alter ego project is to basically create an alter ego and this alter ego will have an Instagram account and for one week from I think May 26 to 1st of June we are to post as our alter ego on their account we get to decide on how often they're posting what kind of art do they post captions do they not do they even have a profile picture like like everything as if that character is me and just that one week and my character i've decided that i'm gonna make it into like a cat human hybrid because i get quite often from close friends that i act like a cat and i think i kind of put on a persona especially on my my personal instagram account and on my my art account and i think on my vlogs as well as this very outgoing and extroverted person and i think i want to show a much different side to me with my alter ego so my alter ego she's also in university and yeah i don't know it's it's like it's not like a fully alter ego that i'm gonna go crazy and wild with i wanted it to connect with me in a way but at the same time i don't see myself as this character it's like a totally different person almost but i think it'll be very interesting to do so but that's not what i'm doing right now i have a figuring assignment due tomorrow and i'm nowhere near done with it because it's pretty hard it's there's this essay written by zadie or zadie smith about kara walker who is an artist who does a, a lot of things about um, about black people, sexuality, just like very like the whole and in particular in this essay they covered a lot of topics about like the slavery and oppression that black people had to face which is something I can relate to to an extent especially as an Asian but it's like, I don't know, it was just very hard to put myself in the shoes when reading it and trying to figure out what to, how to do it because in the essay there are 10, fra 10 phrases that have been highlighted and we are to find images that illustrate this phrase and it wasn't really fully explained as to what we're supposed to do with these images but some people are taking it that these images are giving more context off to us to what the essay is saying and i think some people are taking these um phrases more personally to them as to what do these phrases mean to me so you're just gonna be probably watching the time lapse and also the i have a new setup so i'll show that as well so let me show you that i got a monitor and I have a bigger desk so I can work a lot more so just set my camera here hopefully you can see everything yeah but you just now watch a time lapse of me working so for one of my classes we're doing Newton studies which is that 
<laughs> and we have like multiple assignments to do so i'm gonna be doing the first one I'm just gonna watch me film it and attempt to do it but i don't know how it's gonna go okay i've cut up these things now now it's all up to arranging them um i don't know how many times but i will be arranging them <laughs> because I thought it started at 9 and not 9.30 <laughs> Good morning, going back to Rotterdam for some much needed photo shoots because one person wasn't there last time and it's a nice morning Except it's gonna rain tomorrow, I think. No, not tomorrow, sorry. It's gonna rain a lot later. Oh. Nice morning, dude. <laughs> Whoa! Cat heaven. <laughs> Haven't shown you guys progress yet but i've made a uh <laughs> should i call it a picture that shouldn't be existing but because anyways i'm gonna explain it now my ulcer ego university student living in a tokyo a tokyo and i mean that because it's an alternate universe uh, this is what i had in mind i made it through that pit crew girl maker by that tumblr account <laughs> and she kind of has like this really kind of i guess the trend now very neutral very non-binary look and her workplace is just like a mess so i decided to use pictures of myself and this is what i have you even yes she is a cat girl this was the original photo and it's been transformed into this i'm not sure about it i am this is an attempt but i'm gonna edit those ears more into the actual real photo but i do not want the jacket such a bright red considering um she likes more neutral tones so you will have to see how this goes <laughs> But that's what I've been pretty much been up to, just working on my alter ego. Nothing really big, so yeah. Guess we should see a time lapse of my my work. Me working on this. <laughs> hey everyone. So I went out today thinking we were supposed to go to Amsterdam but we didn't so we just um, went to get McDonald's which is why I'm all dressed up like with a little bit of makeup today but before I take it off I'm looking more presentable just wanted to say that there's no real changes with the alter ego project just a lot of a lot of drawing and I figured that you probably wouldn't want to see time lapse after time lapse but i can show what i have planned so far and what i've posted as well as my alter ego account which y'all can look to actually see the, the illustrations i'm doing because i've taken photos that i found on pinterest 
and I'm drawing over them because drawing a whole picture and just coming up with the whole thing is is too much, especially for the for the time we have. And this week I'm watching a whole package for my internship about retouching photos in photography which is like super cool because I don't actually know how to do these things and it will be helpful for any type of project that I probably will be needing so I have to do that and the deadlines for all my theory and my practical major is all due next week so I have to do very very busy and today I wasn't able to really work a lot but I've had I have stuff done so just wanted to just check in come in again because <laughs> like you just see time lapse after time lapse but yeah There's here <laughs> Hey everyone, so the end of the school year for my major is done, uh, it's passed, <laughs> it's amazing so now we've moved on to doing electives and for the electives I'm doing something called Portraits of Things and it's to take basically almost still life photography, portrait photography of different objects and replace them different concepts and right now I'm in the middle of editing through like and choosing which photos are heck of like 97 stuff but let me show you these are the editing pens i decided to choose the glass water glasses and lemons and we play around with the shadows and the reflection of the water in the glass with light and it just so happens to be super sunny this one's my favorite turned it to black and white a little bit more gray tones, but keeping these shadows like very, very dark. But, yeah, it's very fun. I don't know what the feedback would be like. And if you want to look at the original photos, they're like very blue. But I wanted to have them a more, uh, I guess, moodier <laughs> atmosphere to it. Because this screams are very positive and this is like I don't know, more serious kind of photos. Okay, I figured I should show you guys how I edit these type of photos because as you can see it's like very very blue. So this is a raw yeah, this is a raw picture taken with my Canon EOS 50D, so I used the Photoshop for the camera raw Photoshop filter. So, I have my setup for the portrait of things here. This is the, an old canvas I did for DP and it's casting these shadows. I'm taking a few photos with lemons in the glasses again. Shoot some behind the scenes stuff.
house. You don't belong here. Go back to your family. There's another goose. Where are they coming from? Hey everyone, so I just wanted to uh, film a quick outro So if there's any like random background noise, it's very windy today But I just wanted to end this vlog by saying that that's the end of my first year I just have another week left finishing off this watercolor assignment for my plus weeks which i don't think is going to be super difficult i've been enjoying it even though i don't really like watercolor but for now the next time you'll probably be seeing a proper art school vlog is when i resume my second year which is around in september so and for my summer holiday, I am going off somewhere. I won't reveal it yet because I'm still thinking if I want to vlog it or post it. There might be at some point a speed paint of me doing a proper one, hanging out with friends, all like other life stuff. Not not exactly an art school vlog, but really hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog. It is a bit longer because it has been a month or more since I last posted, so yeah. <laughs> I wanted to say thank you for all the support that I've been and just like overall like positive comments that I've been getting these past few days. I saw like my very first of all kind of blow up, which is overwhelming but it's such a cool experience as well and for all the new subscribers if you're watching this enjoy <laughs> my time as being an illustration student and hope to take you on to the, the journey of being an art student and i hope those many other young people who want to pursue the same thing as i am you get something out of my vlogs because that is the one of the main things i started this channel because i needed to know like more of like an authentic real side as to what life is like in the background of an illustration student especially when i was looking before i applied to art school so i hope you got something out of my vlog hope they're helpful in some way this this is just how my art school operates it could be totally different from other places but i'll be happy if i manage to help you guys out but i'm rambling <laughs> hope you guys have a good day or good night wherever and whatever time you're watching i'll see you again in another vlog <laughs>